Hey everybody, Rudum here for another episode of Stellaris. So last episode, we are trying to capture the remainder of the Malgwagal, uh, which is up here in the north. But to do it, we have to pummel their allies down south until the allies um, give up. So what I've been doing is just having my fleets and armies uh, basically salt the earth um more or less with Incoming inquiry with everything behind me uh commercial packs i'm going to decline for now because they cost me influence and i'd rather have the influence than the commercial pact i am planetary market secured very quickly pushing through the territory here uh as you can see i don't have a lot of war weariness uh war exhaustion rather 54 percent whereas they're at 100 percent um so I am trying to make them a subsidiary. Uh, but there's also a lot of other things that are going on engaged. behind the behind the the, uh, the scenes because my my subsidiaries are also making claims that I'm having to uphold. Oh, they have two planets here. Well, double the double the planets, double the destruction. Works for me. I don't think the Xeno Equality uh, Association to is going to get a lot of memberships market. anytime soon. As we are basically waging war on Xenos. Oh good, they disengaged. Planetary market secured. Try not to lose any population. I'm going to uh, bombard this next planet for a little bit because I'm trying not to uh, have anyone die. What I can do is send my scientist in to get the last of the alien procurement um, chain done and also now that I'm remembering let's ask about Elgates uh, I have lots of energy credits and I can um, learn more about the Elgates now let's do a quick planet checkup um, we have a deficit of food um, hmm I could do I could fix that in a few different ways, but I think for now, I'm just going to run the deficit. I think it's because, mostly because, my population is exploding. And I only have one breadbasket. Uh, I guess I have two breadbasket worlds. But I also have a lot of research that I could do to make those breadbasket worlds more productive. And I haven't been... Honestly, haven't even been offered that kind of research, which is uh, part of the problem. All right, they have a small little army here. Let's go land. Commencing seizure of planetary asset. And I'm checking my war score here. Upscaling complete. Trying planetary to get it up. Market secured. Trying to get my war score up, so if they give up. But I think what I'm going to have to do is basically. Oh, there we go. Uh, they left the war. A uh, bunch of refugees. Okay, so let's check this out. I have two subsidiaries now. They fractured. So there's the Commonality and the Shipping Alliance, and they're different. Um, they're both trade leagues. No, one one is not a trade league. One is a trade league. Okay, interesting. Um... And then the Lazovada, who's a subsidiary, annexed a whole lot of territory, which is why my war score was a little bit harder, um, a harder to a a achieve than normal. Because normally, um, oh, what is going on? Rimder. Okay, I'll investigate whoever that is. Normally, um, sort of fully occupying somewhere is generally enough, no, but declared. obviously that wasn't the case this time around. So if they left the war, uh, I still need to wait until about 10 more years to um, push further into the Kalaktora. Um, so now I have to figure out who my next subsidiary target is. The era box wouldn't be bad. Uh, these guys are kind of growing big. It depends on who has allies. So, 
you guys, I have, um, I've got my branch offices in. So messing with you is kind of not productive. I also have branch offices in the Sar uh, Sathori. So I, th I think it's these guys that I'm going to have to mess with next. So let's go repair my fleets and get right to it. Um, what is going on here? This trade hub is... Uh, there's nothing, there's no trade. I think it's this is a symbol not connected to trade network. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't even want that base. So don't worry about it. Special project actualized. So we discovered the Zuricorp. Um, oh, I see. So the upkeep of keep of these hyper entertainment forums are um, unfortunately for me a lot of additional consumer goods. So when I built all these hyper forums, my consumer good uh, requirements increased. So I could either add uh, civilian industries, which let's try to find a planet that needs the jobs. Here's one. So I can add civilian industries in order to make some more. What I really need is those damn crystals. I feel like I'm Rick or something. Tell him Morty to keister the crystals. But yeah, the rare crystals are what I'm really after, first and foremost. So dimensional horror, there, there's a leviathan. Um, so we just finished actualized. the chain, uh, getting a lot of research and whatnot. Uh, now my my fleet has fully repaired, so I'm gonna uh, crush these pirates just because I'm being nice to the Lozavada. And then I'll move in on the era box. Let's see what's here. I'm curious if it's a, a Leviathan or something like that or not. Doing a little bit of a piracy check and we look to be good. Speed time up. Upscaling complete. Alien Zoo. So the Alien Zoo thing that we got is for this planet. Uh, it does unity and societal research and amenities. We might as well build it because it's unique, but uh, it also costs a bunch of consumer goods to upkeep. So. Pluses and minuses. Um, if we need consumer goods, another good way to get it would be to change our trade policy back to consumer benefit. And that would give us consumer goods uh, instead of unity. Uh, honestly, I'd rather have the unity because you can Research buy consumer goods. You really can't buy unity, uh, which is my thinking there. Okay, definitely going to get research speed. And we're going to finish up Supremacy. So this is War Games, which increases command limit once again. And the Admiral level cap. And now we have two unused um, Ascension perks that I'm banking. Upscaling complete. And to suppose uh, I will go back into the ship designer and make sure that I am up to date. So I really like kinetic batteries because they have extraordinarily long range and they're pretty good. They don't do a lot of armor damage. So what I could do is have plasma coupled with it. Uh, and that's probably pretty strong all around. Um, and then my new ships will also, we'll call them pooplars, pooplars. Um, they have zero point modules, so that's really good uh, power generation. So let's roll some of these popular classed ships out the line. And we can 
take out these engaged. pirates. Merge the knight armies together. Not very rewarding, but now I'm going to try for uh, here. Upscaling which complete. is going to be a lot harder of a fight. And I'll probably lose some ships, but it's not that big of a deal. Actually, uh, you know what? I'm going to go and mess with these guys first. Uh, offer subsidiary status. And subjugate them. New business venture. Who did I go to war with? I went to war with United Human Republic. Oh, uh, they're, they're Earth. And they're small. So I'm not worried about that. It's basically just me versus the these um, machine intelligence. Already, if we check, uh, I have a nice swath of the globe. Uh, if I absorbed Collector, it would look a lot better. Um, but I have momentum that I don't think is going to be slowed anytime soon. I'm doing pretty good. I also have to remember to get the tile blockers cleared as soon as I can. Uh, and maybe get terraforming tech. Uh, let's see if the Sethori have any other planets worth branch officing. I don't have... Let's try to trade active trade link, sensor link. Uh, I'll give them it too, because I can't really tell what's going on here unless they give me sensors. So now I can see population. So they have 25 pop on this place, uh, which means it might be worth branching. Uh, because I can then put a fast food chain there and feed myself uh, from that. And you... Also, again, we can branch office here using that good influence and put another fast food chain. And that will solve my hunger problem. Bada bing, bada boom. Through building McDonald's everywhere. I guess with you, I might as well do the active sensor link too. That couldn't hurt. Um, I don't really care if you can see into my territory. If I can see into your territory back, it's all the same to me. Vundaba. So these two new ships are about a seventh of the strength of this entire fleet. So my new ships obviously well designed, looking good. My chairwoman got some sort of trait. Uh, Empire Sprawl. Yeah, we are growing a little big, a little wide, a little tall. Um, and as a result, we got Empire Sprawl. Didn't mean to rhyme, but hey. You get... You have no armies here? Okay. Invade and complete. This is going to be funny to watch. Attempting to acquire planetary market. Done. What do you want? You want me to give you a lot of food for minerals? No. I'd take the inverse, but not that. Alright, so we got that planet. And what I'm going to do is queue up directly attacking the stations so I don't miss one. Research actualized. Durasteel armor, that's good. Uh, Elgate would be awesome. As would Star Fortress. As would Mining Station Output. I'm going to do um, City District Housing because... Um, we are starting to get some population growth stuff. Plus, um, more pop more people equals more jobs equals more productivity. Research actualized. All right, this is the galactic stock market. Good. Uh, we did want tile blocker clearing, so let's not ignore what I told myself. I'm gonna actually get some of that. And we're going to need population here. Show me your wares. No, I don't need a governor. Is there something I can remove from here? 
I can replace this with the Galactic uh, Stock Exchange. That will be, I'll do that first actually. All right, we're just trying to be thorough as we capture all their territory. <laughs> Even though Lo Lozavada has a bigger fleet than they do. These guys are toast. Um, I am really not making enough food, though. I guess I'll have to turn this into a somewhat of a breadbasket world as well. I'll have to fix this food problem, because this is a constant problem that I've been having, obviously. Having a massive deficit of food. I could, uh, let's see. What is my dietary balance? I could do rationing, but that would make everyone unhappy. Um, I was just making sure I didn't have plenitude to on acquire planetary market. Planetary market secured. I could just buy it per month, but that's kind of expensive. It's best to balance the budget rather than to just pay to balance it, you know. Are you even going to be able to destroy this space station? Station under assault. I don't know. You might not even be able to. That'd be kind of funny. Okay, so here is just a space amoeba, not anything super cool. The food research I've been offered so far has been poultry, which is kind of a bummer. I'm going to go south first. Who died? A scientist. I'll look to replace him. The chief scientist over Vryn. Check piracy while I'm back here. Piracy is getting up there. Soon, Sabtrop will need um, another hangar bay. I'm just going to preempt that. Okay, my food problems are slowly going away. Uh, hopefully I can invade. Oh yeah, I can invade real fast. I'm just going to immediately turn them around to go to Ulbers. My Admiral died. Uh, well, time to replace you. Old people do die. Commencing seizure of planetary asset. Research actualized. Okay, got some tile blocker clearage. I've been waiting for, G oh man, so many things I want to research, but gene tailoring is chief amongst them. Planetary market secured. Ooh, so the Satori just broke the uh, commercial pact. Uh, what put them over the edge? Because I didn't have a good trade deal, I guess. That's kind of stupid. Um, so they broke the pact I had with them, and now complete. they can declare war to get my branch offices out of their territory. Um, I doubt they'll do it, because they're massively, numerically inferior to me, but, um, you know, they do have as an option. Upscaling complete. Guess I'll put the corporate culture suite there because we need specialist jobs. Governor's dead. Long live. 
Some random new governor, I don't know. Research actualized. A little bit more housing. That's always nice. Advanced afterburners would be great. I like um, I like tech that speeds up your ships because nothing is worse than being too late to a fight. Especially in multiplayer. When I play with friends and my allies have super slow ships. I'm like, come on, I'm getting crushed over here. Or the inverse something and um and they never show up they take forever all right ear you have no armies what are you like collective consciousness of patheticism you guys are getting get crushed you got nothing we're gonna achieve our war goals because you're not even putting up a fight upscaling complete Attempting to acquire planetary market. Where's your where's your where's your where's your armies? You don't even got any. Planetary market secured. Alright, well, that works for me. Yep, there's even fewer here at this next place. Uh, our fleet just got bigger. Sucks to be you guy. And slowly, as you can see, our um, Achieve War Goals is going up and up and up as our occupation is increasing. We had Numistic Visualization. Let's go re-up that. Healthcare Campaign. Let's go re-up that too. Commencing Seizure of Planetary Asset. That's pretty, huh? Oh, huh, there's even something to research here. Cool. Uh, where is my scientist? I had a rogue. I had a scientist just didn't have anything to do. I'll send you down here. Now, the only danger of having an army that significantly lags behind my navy is they can be intercepted. Um, and I haven't really run that. I haven't... That hasn't happened to me yet, but... Um, that is a risk if you're not together because your your army literally can't defend themselves so if that ever happens you're kind of boned gotta be careful with that so we have some good jobs and good housing on everywhere which is phen phenomenal Research about that. Actualized. and a new tradition I'm gonna go with harmony and yep Got some research done for research speed. I'll go better sensors. Planetary market secured. All right, so here's their subsidiary. We can knock him out as well. This is Earth. Uh, are they humans? I guess they're humans too. We won't invade too hard, I promise. They actually have a fleet here, unlike Research the robots. Actualized. They value defending themselves, which is funny. Uh, let's get rid of some tile, clearing tile blockers. And with that research, is that enough to get the incension perk of engineered evolution? Nice. And then for us to get the next one, which is evolutionary mas mastery, we need to get genetic resequencing researched. But what this allows us to do, oh, uh, also, wow, 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 wow. We have a lot of, um, I forgot to adjust this. We have a lot of refugees that I definitely don't want. So I'm kicking them out of my empire. And then um, let's change our own, um, species a little bit, and this will take 32 months, so we're going to lose our sedentary and non-adaptive and gain communal, which allows us to live more densely. Incoming inquiry. All 
I'm going to bulk buy some stuff that we are in deficit for. All right. Come on, Blue. Land with me. Commencing seizure of planetary asset. Ooh, who just died? Scientist. Uh, we'll make you the new scientist, and then one of our science ships are without a leader at Vryn. Replaceable. Come on, Blue. Land. Land. They're not landing. Um, hmm. Dorfil. Actually, what's closest? Um, Sabtrok is closest, sort of. Just click that a bunch. This is the only planet that's really had any defenses, and we're still going to win. It's just we lost uh, some of our armies. Planetary market secure. So we're going to be weaker, but not not too too weakened. And we're getting close to that. Accepting the war goals. And this is the big old dimensional horror that would crush my fleet. So I'm not planning. Oh, there's not even an army guarding this planet. Imagine having a planet. How many people live here? Uh, I guess only two stacks. But imagine having a planet with like literally no army. That's crazy to me. But I guess that planet just developed, so that kind of makes sense. It's too fresh. Too fresh to have defenses. So we have some backup armies that are training up. Doing a little assessment of our... Uh... Oh, so we, we researched some tile blocker clearing. So let's go ahead and clear what we can. I guess very, very, very little. Some passable mountains. But that, that opens up some max districts here. And max districts can be used for whatever purpose I, I please. You know, it could be some additional... Um, Technicians or agriculture, just you know, whatever. It doesn't doesn't really matter. The game doesn't care how I use those districts. As long as there's room for expansion. Alright, there's not a whole lot. Inquiry. Oh, you know what I want to do? Um Okay, I need a lot more influence to make a claim like that. I also need to get some rivals because uh, I'm not making a lot of influence. I don't really care who I rival. The you get rivals. Everyone gets rivals. Everyone's a rival until they're a subsidiary. Um, Sathori, you're gonna get rival too because you canceled my commercial pact. So screw you, guy. And this gives me some more. Um, influence. Because ideally, uh, what I'd like is to claim Tur Meku Black Hole um, so that I can um, so that I can have a Elgate. Elgate is a pretty cool thing to own. Which means I might not want to end this Commencing seizure war of planetary too quickly. Asset. Strangely enough. Planetary market secured. I might want it to drag on so that we can um, claim that uh, that black hole there. Because what are my other choices here? Uh, looking around. There's got to be another Elgate somewhere. Wormhole. Um, yes. So the Sathori have another Elgate over here. Uh... That actually I could claim. So yeah, I can I can end this war and just take the Sathori's Elgate. Attempting to acquire planetary market. That would work. Research actualized. I'll try to get this one just because it's it would be basically free. I wouldn't even have to go to war for it. But let's get some 
fire Up control. Upscaling complete. Uh, I guess I could repair my fleets. It's been kind of a while. Some of them are a little damaged. In fact, one of my destroyers got destroyed. Standard wear and tear. Nothing. Incoming transmission. Nothing too bad. All right, let's look at my species. I am in the process of kicking these guys out, and I'm doing a pretty good job because most of them are gone. General is now stubborn. It's not what I like to see. So claims, I need a lot more. Yeah, we're probably not even going to get it in this war. This war is going to wrap up too quick. Detritus analyzed. That's okay. I could just sit on it and wait, but uh, that's going to have to be for another episode because I am out of time. So as I've been saying in the past few videos, uh, this was indeed pre-recorded. So if you have any feedback for me, I won't be able to respond to it in video for a little bit Research because, actualized. you know, pre-recording. But alas, that doesn't mean I don't want your input. Uh, I love getting feedback. So absolutely drop me a line. Uh, and I hope you are having a great holiday uh, and a happy new year, wherever you're living. And I hope you tune in next time. Thank you for watching and adios.